this sets a good starting point a base so even if you don't want to or you can't color grade your footage should be okay you can either zoom in and zoom out by holding option and scrolling and if you have a trackpad it's even easier or pressing command and the minus and plus to either zoom out or zoom in on your timeline if you're zoomed in and you'd like to zoom back out to see your whole timeline in one click you can do it with shift and z and if you press shift and z once again you will zoom back in exactly where you were and lastly if you're working on a big timeline and you're somewhere all the way in the back and you'd like to go in the beginning of your timeline you can simply press the home button now if you're on your timeline and you'd like to find your clip in your media pool all you have to do is press option f and let's not forget the read time controls r to change speed command r to open your read time controls and command shift r to open the curve now a lot of these are not in the Vinci Resolve so I have a full video where you can see how you can change your shortcuts manually. Pressing command B to make a new bin up here. A few more shortcuts are coming but before that I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Appreciate it if you subscribe and help me reach my goal of 1k subs before the end of this year. Okay, now this one's special. If you have a clip on your timeline that you'd like to move left or right and basically swap the place of the right clip or the left clip or maybe 10 clips to the right or 10 clips to the left, instead of doing the whole, whole moving clips and selecting and moving, simply select the clip you'd like to move and press Control shift comma to move it to the left or dot to move it to the right. I, I don't know what to say, it's mind blowing. If you want to decrease or increase your audio and you don't want to play around with the inspector, you can press option shift minus or plus to decrease it by three decibels or increase it by some.